What If You Had Animal Ears by Sandra Markle, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. What if one day when you woke up, the ears on your head weren't yours? What if overnight a wild animal's ears took their place? Jackrabbit. A jackrabbit's ears are extra long and full of blood vessels. They're perfect for giving off body heat so the jackrabbit stays cool on hot days. Fact, a jackrabbit's big ears are super sound scoops. It can hear sneaky predators like coyotes or foxes in time to hop away fast. If you had jackrabbit ears, you'd look taller so you could ride roller coasters sooner. Tasmanian Devil. A Tasmanian Devil's normally pale pink ears blush red when it's excited or upset, like when it's fighting other devils for food, or when a predator, like an owl, flies close. Fact, a Tasmanian Devil's keen hearing can detect sounds as much as a half mile away. If you had Tasmanian Devil ears, you'd never miss a secret, but your ears would always give away if what you heard upset you. Eurasian Red Squirrel. A Eurasian Red Squirrel's ears change with the seasons. Its ears tufts like its fur coat, growing thicker and longer just in time for cold winter weather. Fact, Eurasian Red Squirrels are born naked. They don't get their first fur coat and ear tufts until they're almost about 21 days old. If you had Eurasian red squirrel ears, you could play in the snow without earmuffs or a hat and still have tasty warm ears. Koala. A koala's big round ears are completely covered with fuzzy oily hair. This protects them from hot sunshine and chilly winds. Plus, raindrops run off so fast that their ears stay, stay dry on the inside. Fact, scientists discovered female koalas choose the loudest male in the area when they mate and have babies. For koalas, being loud usually means they're strong and healthy. If you had koala ears, you could style your ear hair. Then you'd be sure to turn heads and start a wild trend. Okapi. An okapi's big ears each move separately, perfect for listening in two directions at once. So while dining on leaves in a forest, an okapi listens in every direction for predators, like leopards. Fact, an okapi's tongue is so long it's able to lick its ears clean, inside and out. If you had okapi ears, you could easily listen in two directions at once, so no one would ever be able to sneak up and surprise you. Townsend's Big-Eared Bat A Townsend Big-Eared Bat's ears make tiny sounds louder. This way, they can hear flying moths and mosquitoes even when they can't see them, which helps with night hunting. Once close, this bat uses its wings and tail to sweep the insect out of the ear and into its mouth. Fact, while flying, a Townsend big-eared bat makes high-pitched noises and listens for echoes. That's how it senses buildings and trees to avoid crashes. If you had Townsend's big-eared bat ears, you'd never need insect repellent. You'd hear mosquitoes in time to catch them or swat them away. African Elephant An African elephant has the world's biggest ears. Each ear is as big as six feet long and four feet wide. Besides giving off body heat, they flap so elephants can create their own own cool breeze. Fact, African elephants make and hear very deep rumbles. These sounds are below what human ears can hear, but an elephant can hear another elephant more than two miles away. If you had elephant ears, you'd never need a windy day to launch a kite. You could just flap your ears. Great Horned Owl a great horn owl's outer ears are just holes surrounded by feathers. The right opening is slightly higher than the left. 
That little difference is enough for sounds to reach one ear first. And that lets the owl home in on fast food like mice and rabbits. Fact, what look like ears are just tufts of feathers, but may silently show feelings. Lowered when upset and raised when checking something out. If you had great horned owl ears, you'd quickly pinpoint sounds, so you'd be a star at playing Marco Polo. Marco Polo! Philippine Tarsier. A Philippine Tarsier's ears hear high-pitched sounds, ones way too high for humans and most other animals. And they can make super high-pitched squeaks, too. Just like code, tarsiers use these sounds to talk to each other without attracting hunters like owls. Fact, a Philippine tarsier's paper-thin ears are nearly always moving. They're searching for sounds that will let them find insect meals like termites and crickets. If you had Philippine tarsier ears, you could listen to high-pitched music played as loud as you like and no one would even notice. Serval. A serval's ears have eye spot like markings on the back. These let serval kittens easily track and follow their mother through tall grass. And keen hearing lets the serval know just where to pounce to catch a mouse. Fact A serval's inner ear lets it stay balanced to land on its feet, even when it leaps as high as a standard basketball hoop to slap a bird to the ground. If you had serval ears, you would be so easy to spot. You'd lead every class trip. And even if you jumped high to peek over a wall, you'd always land on your feet. Meerkat. A meerkat's ears have muscles to seal the opening shut. That's great for keeping their ears clean while digging up food like beetle grubs or mole rats. Fact. Meerkats bark different alarm calls for predators on the ground and in the air. Hearing the ground alarm sends meerkats running. The other makes them freeze so they're harder to spot from above. If you had meerkat ears, your ears would stay clean even when you played in the mud. Wild animal ears could be fun for a while, but you don't need your ears to cool off or stir up a breeze. And you never use your ears to find your dinner or stand out in a crowd. So if you could keep wild animal ears for more than a day, which kind would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. Your ears will always be people ears. They'll be what you need to hear music playing, birds chirping, and people talking. Plus, they'll be just what you need to hold back your hair or prop up your glasses. What's special about your ears? Your ears work with your brain to help you hear. Your outer ear catches sounds. Sounds are really waves of moving air. Once inside your ear, the air bumps into the eardrum. Each bump pushes three tiny bones in the middle ear, and that push passes the fluid-filled part of the inner ear, making tiny hair-like cells move. These cells send signals to the brain. Almost at once, the brain checks out the signal, and you hear a sound. The three bones of the middle ear are the tiniest bones in your body. Your ears also work with your brain to give you a sense of balance. Your inner ear has fluid-filled loops. Move your head and the fluid inside the loop sloshes. Then the liquid slops against cells that send signals to your brain. Almost at once, the brain checks out those signals and you sense your body is moving. If you stop super quick, the liquid may keep sloshing and you'll feel like you're still moving. Keep your ears healthy. Your ears need special care. Here are tips for taking care of your ears. Don't play music, movies, or games very loud. Wear something to guard your hearing in really noisy places, like motorsport events. Wear a helmet anytime you could hit your head, like when you're riding your bike, rollerblading, or skiing. Never poke anything into your ears. Only a doctor should treat an ear problem.